What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stocks to Watch and today was a flat day. I mean, both the indices didn't really do anything but there was a lot of stock specific action and our watch list as usual did very very well. So before I get started, if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel because it definitely motivates us to put such content in front of you. So let's quickly get started with the watch list first on what exactly was the stock specific action that I'm talking about. So Engineers India, I think we had this stock on the watch list for the last three days when it tapped in over here. Wonderful action. Adani Enterprises, we spoke about this. Good action over here. Jyoti CNC, JSW Energy. Uh, we've got LT. We spoke about this liquidity sweep. That also did really well. Crompton reacted. Uh, Moil, Rain, Decent, Manuver it's, is in the watch list even today. So decent action uh, you know, on the stock front. Um, majority of the action, I think, started from the IT pack. So I think I uh, gave you decent examples of how IT could start bouncing from its area of demand. Now I'll go to IT FNO just to kind of give you a uh, you know good idea on what IT did. And I think I will be bullish on IT if they start setting up tomorrow as well. So in a dead market, I think Builder Soft moving up 4%, Emphasis up 2%, LTTS 1.5%, Tech Mahindra, OFSS, Wipro, Persistent. Persistent is even setting up for tomorrow. Uh, HCL Tech, CoForge, I mean, they did decently well. So, uh, again, long story short, there was stock-specific action, uh, you know, happening. Now, if I go to Nifty and Bank Nifty and kind of help you understand what happened today in these um, pockets. So, uh, yesterday, I think uh, we had a discussion that, you know, the best case scenario to go long is, you know, Nifty comes here and then we start going long at this area of demand. But unfortunately, that never happened. Um, instead, what Nifty did is Nifty first uh, swept these lows, uh, sorry, swept these highs, uh, tried to make equal highs, get rejected from here, and then there was like, you know, very, very muted kind of an up move, which basically lasted for about 180 points um, from low to the high. Nothing really specific in this particular move. You know, we had a lot of ups, lot of lot, lots of downs. Same thing, I think, goes with Bank Nifty as well. So... Uh, on the index front, it was kind of a dull day because Bank Nifty was like full day. It was just sideways. And now what's happening is uh, interesting. Why? Because there's so much liquidity on the downside. So I am actually interested that if there's any kind of a move to play towards the downside, towards this area of demand, I think that is what I am interested in to trade tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is Bank Nifty's expiry. And that means that Bank Nifty would probably have some solid action because one day before the expiry even Bank Nifty is so silent, so quiet, that means there's something coming in. Now, if Bank Nifty moves higher, I think these areas of supply would definitely be something uh, where Bank Nifty would face a hurdle. So, uh, on the upside, I don't really see a lot of potential to be really, really honest. Uh, the best case scenario is what if Bank Nifty opens and reaches here in no time? And then it starts facing supply. I think this move uh, from here to here, I think that is going to be something, uh, you know, really, really nice. So I think there are two moves. Both are on the short side. Now, I'm not bearish on Bank Nifty, but uh, based on liquidity, what I feel is short side plays are more, um, you know, uh, rewarding at the moment in terms of risk reward for Bank Nifty. So Nifty, Bank Nifty, relatively quiet. Tomorrow's Bank Nifty's expiry. So there could be some action, um, you know, in Bank Nifty. So that's what I'm looking for. Now let's come to the watch list for tomorrow and let's quickly get started. Now there are again a bunch of stocks reacting from these areas, from their areas of demand. So there's some interesting activity over there. Now Godfrey Phillips, right, the cigarette maker, uh, setting up in a very, very nice base with volumes drying up. Very, very nice. IFCI, it's a circuit stock, but very tight action after a breakout. It tried to break out over here, but didn't really have continuation. Now it's making like a tight seven day range. And I think now this can be moving as well. Now, there is elevated volumes over here, which also looks interesting. Next up is DB Realty. Now, I think we had this in our watch list for two consecutive days. Um, this is trying to move higher. I think this base is ready to set to kind of move higher. The only problem is there's going to be tons of supply in this area over here. So that's something that could be a bummer, but I think it's, it's still fine. Lloyd's Engineering Works, again, tight little base. Jindal Saw, same story over here as well. Power India Hitachi, again, um, very nice base build-up. I think this is this probably could be ready for a breakout. TVS Motors, setting up for a breakout. And there's one more stock, which is Hero Motor Corp, which uh, is a disclaimer that we already have a position. We took a posi active position in Hero Motor Corp uh, today. So again, a nice base and probably, uh, you know, moving for a base breakout. That's our position right here. 
So I'm expecting some good action in Hero Motor Cop uh, and Auto has done decently well. So again, Auto is something that I'm really interested about. Next up is Biocon. Now again, we've, we've spoken about Pharma multiple times, but Pharma hasn't really done, you know, a really good move in a from from a continuation perspective. They move up, then they come down, and it's it it, it has been like kind of choppy. But with Biocon making this base, and um, you know, I think uh, there is earnings also reporting on uh, they're reporting earnings on Thursday, the 16th of May. And um, I think there is a move due in Biocon. Uh, there was, I think, the last uh, month they updated about a new drug where they got the license in America. Uh, they got the distributor license for a couple of drugs in South America as well. So, and I think in Brazil, they are the only company to provide, I think, some diabetic medicine or I think some heart medicine. I'm not really sure of which medicine, but there was like a positive catalyst. Next up is Signpost India. Not recommended to buy here. It's a dead, you know, it's a recent IPO name. Coming back to the area of demand, only the only thing I'm looking at is this narrow tight range that is it has created. Next up is TD Power Systems. Again, I think it it is a little late to kind of enter in this because the reaction from the demand is done. PGIL setting up a nice base formation. I think this could be an interesting one to watch out for. Then we've got TVS Supply Chain Solutions. Nice little auto block setup with a base looks nice. Igarshi Motors again from the auto space looks decent. Uh, this one hour OB on uh, Aditya Birla Fashion ABFRL that looks decent. Bale has some supply, so I, I'm I'm not really a big fan of that. Uh, Indigo uh, was was gonna be an interesting one. Makes like a nice little base. We've got Natco Pharma next. Uh, tight range action. We'll have to see what it does. Sona Comstar another auto OEM name. Now we've got Igarshi already on the list. So again, it's coming back to this area of demand. Now the demand is very deep, so I'm not really a big fan to be a buyer here. Maybe if on an intraday basis it sets up, I might be interested in that. RR cable, nice little base. The only issue is this supply is a little too much to kind of take. So I think that's going to be something tricky. Tata Communications making a nice base over here. I like it, but I'll have to still check what it does tomorrow. But the base is nice. It's coming to an area of demand. Uh, the left side supply uh, being bro you know broken, break of structure happening over here. So I think uh, it's a pretty decent. NTPC again, um, narrow range, uh, you know, narrow tight range consolidation, but supply is the only worry. Sun Pharma, uh, very nice setup. So Biocon Sun Pharma, two pharma names setting up really nicely. Interesting to see. Deep Industries, again, a nice little base uh, setting up. I think the last time we uh, identified Deep was here, then it came back, pulled back into this entire region. Now I think it's kind of getting ready. So it's interesting one. Uno Minda, another auto OEM name. Now see, there are three OEM names. There's Igarshi, there is Sona Comstra, and then there's Uno Minda. Auto OEM is doing good. From the IT pack, I think Persistent, one of the high growth names, has setting up really nicely. Liquidated every single thing. Now I'll go to a 15 minute time frame to kind of show you what's the real picture. This base is being set up. Um, there is some imbalance. So I ideally want it to do something like this before it starts spiking up. So I think uh, even this one is good. Um, next up, we've got Balakrishna Industries. We've been, this has been on our radar for a long period of time. Didn't really try to close really nicely. So that's like a bummer for me. Next up, we've got Balu Forge. We had this talk yesterday also in our watch list. And uh, today it has tried to kind of set up uh, decently, right? It's tried to create like a VCP structure. Tomorrow it starts trading here. And I think there is a trade. So I think the favorite stock in the entire list has to be Balu Forge because of what is what it's doing biocon sun pharma another uh, two set of interesting names next up we've got bajaj holdings and investments again similar story same base kind of a formation um jindal worldwide is extended the I, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of this base that's why i'm skipping it indable housing finance reacting from this area of demand we spoke about this talk yesterday as well we were waiting for some action today the action is done now on the smaller time frame if we get an opportunity to enter i think there could be an option so again uh, I think if there's any kind of a move until this little area over here, I think that's going to be like a good place to be a buyer with respect to risk rewards. I think this is the kind of move that you should be aiming for. Next up, beaten down chemical name SRF. Now, if I go to the daily time frame, SRF has just literally dumped into the order block and now it is starting to react. There's, there's, there's a good candlestick closing. Price action has been good. So I think SRF is something that I would explore. LTTS, very, very, uh, you know, uh, you know, the correction is overdone. Very, very big, uh, uh, you know, name in the IT space, mid cap name, beaten down. So I think if IT reverses, I think persistent is on the cards. I think uh, HCL tech, um, LTTS. So IT is going to be something to watch out for. 
Can Bank, after a liquidity sweep from the highs, has just reacted. Uh, probably one of the best names in the PSU space today. PNB and Can Bank were the only ones which kind of moved. So again, a good one. And then uh, we've got Maneuver, which as, as I said, I've been saying this for three consecutive days now. From a positional perspective, I think this offers good value, good price, good risk reward. Everything is perfect. So if you want to park your money for the next six months, I think this is the stock. Maybe until the next Diwali, this is the stock uh, to be watching out for. So that's basically the action with respect to Bank Nifty. I've already told you my action plan. Nifty is a little tricky um, because um, I'm not really seeing this kind of uh, context in Nifty. So all what I see is these are important areas of supply. Let Nifty go there. Maybe there's a short trade on the long side. Not really interested in anything except this. So that's the action plan. And if you liked this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Definitely do that. Uh, hit the like button and drop a comment if you wait for the watch list. And uh, if you want this to be a little early, I will try to post it maybe by the evening. So that's it from my side. Thank you for so much for tuning in. Uh, and I wish you all the best for your trading day tomorrow. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye.